Hey guys, Jafai here. This video will cover the CH47 Chinook event so you can locate, protect and acquire the locked crate's loot once it's dropped at the monument. The CH47 is a global event that has a helicopter fly over monuments on the map and drop off a single locked crate. Be careful as this event will draw the attention of geared players looking to acquire higher tier loot. The CH-47 will only drop its lock crate at most tier 1 and above monuments, which includes the harbour, airfield, water treatment, dome, train yard, launch site and power plant. Unlike the patrol helicopter, when the Chinook is roaming it does not fire upon players unless it is provoked. However, when it has arrived at a monument, it will begin defending itself and shoot players regardless of the armour or loot. If you want, you can always shoot at the scientists at the doors and kill them, stopping it from shooting at you. Once the Chinook has found the right location, it will fly lower and drop a single locked crate unguarded by scientists. Once dropped, the Chinook will fly away, allowing you to walk up to the crate and start the 15 minute unlock timer. During this time, every player can see the location of the locked crate on their map, meaning you are likely to be contested by other players during that 15 minutes. It's recommended to start the countdown and hide away with a view of the crate, only returning back when you know it's about to open. Additionally, avoid damaging the computer on the crate as it will increase the remaining time. Once the crate's timer has expired, you can now open it to loot the contents inside. You can expect to find bullets, components, armor, weapons, building items, attachments, raiding supplies, a supply signal, tools, and medical supplies. The lock crate can also be dropped at different locations by destroying the Chinook before it reaches the monument. If the player shoots it with rockets, the Chinook will explode, dropping the crate, scientists and debris at the location of the explosion. It is exceedingly difficult to destroy the Chinook as it cannot be damaged with bullets, but requires explosives such as rockets to be destroyed. Also, the rockets need to be shot directly into the back of the Chinook to be effective, with only three high velocity rockets required meaning you'll most likely have to be on a minicopter with a friend to take one down. You could also attempt to nudge the Chinook over so it crashes into the train with your transport helicopter, or you could completely ram into it to blow it up. This will waste a transport helicopter which costs 1,250 scrap. However, if you have stolen it and have no way of storing it, the sacrifice might be worth it to get the lock crate closer to the base. Players will still be able to see the lock crate has dropped, but now it might be in a better position for you to capture it and loot it. The debris field is harvestable with a jackhammer and can also yield around 253 metal fragments, 21 high quality metal, and 146 charcoal. Additionally, the scientists piloting and shooting at the sides can be looted or harvested for small tier loot. The Chinook event is separate from the Chinook that arrives at the oil rigs when the lock crate is being opened. The oil rig channel goes to the landing pad and drops off heavy scientists for the player to fight and leaves. The Chinook event can fly around the oil rigs, however it does not interact with them and typically is leaving the island to despawn. The Chinook is a rewarding event that gives lower tier players the possibility of capturing and looting the lock crates without needing expensive weapons or armor to defend themselves. The only concern when taking on the lock crate would be other geared players but remember to play safe and take post somewhere you can overlook the crate without being seen. You could even wait after the timer has expired to see if any players are willing to loot it, so you can bait them in and kill them for more loot. That's all for this video, thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.